What's going on guys? I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Welcome back to another weekend in the lawn. No, I'm just kidding guys. This is Jake's idea, so I just decided I was gonna do his intro. But uh, what's up guys? Aiden here, Ace Lawn Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're going to be setting up an above ground irrigation system for the lawn. Now I know it's getting dark, so we'll probably start it tonight, finish it tomorrow. It's just like 20 degrees cooler out now doing it at 8 o'clock at night than it is trying to do it at 2 30 in the afternoon. But tomorrow morning we could try to run it. So that's why I just wanted to come out here and get it done now. First of all, yeah, shine, boys. Wash my mom's car today. It's looking good. But um, the colors, hold on. Let's dive in there. Ready? Three, two, one. Yes. She has a little water. But let's get into the materials of what you need to buy. All right guys, I'm at the Home Depot. I've picked up the materials I need personally. I'm going to use uh, one impact sprinkler that I have. And then for now, I'm gonna get uh, one of these Orbit sprinklers. Uh, but I wanted to show you some different uh, timers you can go ahead and get here while you're, if you wanted. This is what I'm gonna be getting. This is a uh, two point, but like Jake the Lawn Kid had, you could get a two point like this. Or if you're interested, you can even do it manually. But I'm uh, not interested in doing that. We grabbed a 25 foot Goodyear hose down here. And then we also got just one sprinkler right there. Because I'm just showing you guys how you can do this and cut down your costs of irrigating, doing manual irrigation. So I'm trying to do it with the least amount of money possible. So that right there, I think, is what's it, 30, 50? about $70 for that setup right there so that's really all you need to get going catch you back at the house and we will show you how to set the whole thing up see you there okay so I picked up this orbit two dial two outlet hose faucet timer so that means that I'm gonna get two hoses out of this and you could set A and B and um, yeah I also picked up a Goodyear 25 foot hose now this one I believe is the 5 8 inch Jake the Lawn Kid does recommend you go up to three quarters so that your water pressure flows more and um, I got the Orbit sprinkler heads that you can adjust we have to show that to you tomorrow these seem to be pretty nice based on Jake's video. And then the other sprinkler of choice will just be a basic impact that I had. And then I will also be using my other 50 foot foot hose I have outside already. Okay guys, so the next step to this process would be to figure out where in the lawn you're going to go ahead and place your heads. So I've picked two spots that I'm gonna go ahead and place the heads down in the yard to determine this. Now before, Jimmy's idea was great, but now that we're building an irrigation system and we've got the idea, this is what we're gonna go ahead and do. So we're gonna place a head right where Jimmy said, by the way, crabgrass doesn't stick around long. Dead, boys get a hashtag on that hashtag dead and um, you get one right there that we're gonna put there and we're gonna put one right there one's gonna throw this way here to here and one's gonna throw that way there to there so that's how that's gonna work and I will put a drawing up on the screen now of what that whole thing will look like at its throwing pattern but um, it's getting a little dark out so I think what we're gonna do real quick is get the measuring wheel out and measure from here to there to find out if we're gonna use the 50 foot hose or the Goodyear 25 foot hose I bought. So let's do that real quick. So 
show the 15 foot hose it is. And let's give you the angle of that here. The hose will throw from here to there. So that's how that will work. But we're gonna have to pick up with this tomorrow. But I wanted to show you, hold on, let me tighten this tripod. Um, I wanted to show you this. There's more toasted crabgrass right here. So if the head goes right here, and this is the property line right here, I wanted to spray a little bit onto the neighbors so that the crabgrass wouldn't end up back in my property. So, pretty smart on my part, and uh, help the neighbor out a little bit. guys so all of our information is programmed in the time when it says it's gonna next watering is gonna be I don't know if you can see that clock start time how long how often just have to program that and then it'll come on to auto and it will tell you when the next watering is so I'm gonna go read the instructions and figure out what other additional information we need to set this up okay guys we got our sprinklers put in one out there and one right there we're gonna go ahead and clear the system and run them and manual clear all and that'll fire the impact up. And then, okay, so that's throwing pretty good. We just have to fix it down on the sidewalk down there. Um, let's do, Shut that one down. This is the one that's going to need some help. There it goes. Whoa! Whoops! Yeah, well, it's backwards. Let's shut that off. Ah! All right, that one's going to need some work. Alright guys, after a few casualties, we finally got this thing figured out. We are running zone 2 right now. Just trying to get a feel for how far the water comes. So it still comes pretty far that way. So all you have to do is come down in here and just rotate this pin right here. A little bit more that way. And uh, that's how you correct that. And it's all about just fine tuning it so it doesn't throw onto the sidewalk. and so that it doesn't overlap your other stream. All right guys, now that we have the irrigation system mastered, let's go ahead and talk about your schedule and how you should be running it. So the idea is you should be running your irrigation system three times a week or so. A good schedule for that is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. And you wanna get down a half an inch um, of water each time. And a good th thing to use is a tuna can. Linked in the top right hand corner is a video I did on the tuna can challenge and how you should do that. So I know that I need to run both zones for 30 minutes each to get down a good half an inch of water per section. So that's how that works. I'm currently running this sprinkler here. Just to test everything out. We have that pretty much fine tuned going that way. That one's pretty much fine tuned as well. So that's how that works. So you can run it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. It really does not matter. And you also, and let's talk about time and how often or how long you should be running your irrigation system for. 
So again, to get down a half an inch of water, however long that takes. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and do the tuna can challenge. And basically how you do that is you take a tuna can, put it down on the lawn and figure out how long it takes to get one half inch down. And that's how long you're gonna run each section for. Again, what time of day should you start your irrigation system? Before the sun rises. If you do it during the middle of the day or at nighttime, that can promote funguses into your lawn. I mean, not well, at nighttime you can get funguses, but not during the day. During the day, the sun will just burn everything up, which is why we're doing all of our testing right now. So, for example, for me, uh, this impact right here will come on at 5 a.m. and run till 5.30, and it'll end at 5.30, and the other one will come on and run from 5.30 to 6. And then at 6 a.m., everything will shut off and won't come back on until Wednesday. So that is how that works. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the box down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that, I'm Aiden from A's Lawn Landscaping. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.